All right, so here we are in front of 1917 T-Post Lane. We're up here. This zip code brings us um, further north of Colorado Springs, not too far up north, where that big shopping center is, where I've showed you guys a couple of times. Um, kind of uh, more south than that. Right off of Mark Shuffle, this here is a, one of the main highways here. This I think this is Highway 24 on the other side of this wall, so you can kind of hear the traffic. And then over there, if you can kind of see that traffic light, that's where Mark Shuffle, not 24, kind of meet. But um, you need to just take Mark Shuffle south, and it takes you straight to Fort Carson, probably a good 25 minutes from, from here, definitely right around there. But this is a really nice neighborhood. For the most part, it's pretty pretty new up here. One of the newer neighborhoods. Not brand brand new, but still pretty nice. You're at the end of a cul-de-sac, so you don't get much traffic here. It's always really nice. There's like a fence right there. On the other side of there are some, some townhouses. And you have a house there and a house there. And the cul-de-sac, you can kind of see wraps around here. But a front, nice front yard. So they just kind of just did rock. They have a shed here on this side. Put a fence here, so you can kind of see. Well, might as well just go look at it, right? <laughs> so, beware of dog. Here's a gate to the fence. This is a shed here. You see, they don't have it open. But they have a bunch of stuff stored here. They looks like they ended up building a fence here. Kind of bringing it out. So the property kind of property line should go up to right right about here where the fence line is right over there these are the other houses here so they have plenty of room to park another vehicle here and another vehicle here and then obviously they have their driveway with a two-car garage and there's a little patio area here that the this slab looks like it's a this is a separate slab they must have laid this after they purchased a home. You have the brick and then you have the, the paneling or the sidings of the home. You have another gate here to enter the backyard. And again, they just they have bushes aligning the the perimeter of the property and then two nice little trees here. And they have this this rock. It's like a almost like a little river thing that they did with the rock nice it's, it's really it looks nice and then they have the rest of the rock up here again it saves you money on on watering your grass every day trust me you probably spend like i don't know 150 to 200 bucks a month right now in water but uh let's go ahead and check out the inside all right so here's the front door here we are that's me As we enter here, you can kind of see it opens up right into the home. My shoes. There we go. Floor looks like it's brand new. So you have the older floor in here. And then uh, you have the vaulted ceilings. You have two little windows up there. And then they turn this little office space into a little living room. A little chandelier up there. French doors, as you can see, really nice. Carpet looks brand new. This looks like it's a really good quality carpet as well. Big window there. So, you know, you can turn this in whatever you want. Usually it's used as a, they call it an office space, office room, whatever. Get the bolted ceilings and everything. They turned this into a dining area, which is great. It looks really nice. Big window right there. You have two little windows up there, then you have another two up there. So you get a lot of natural light in here. This flooring is new at, up to here. That looks like new carpet. That's the old flooring there. Then if you go back over to the kitchen, it's the older flooring as well. Hardwood and everything's still really nice. Good condition. Yeah, the railing here, really nice. All this carpet literally looks 
brand new. I think it is brand new. I think I might have seen it on the, the listing that it's brand new. But let's go ahead over here and check out the, the kitchen. So you have a little spot here for a smaller table. And then you have the kitchen here. So you have the, these are the longer, taller cabinets. Really nice granite countertop. And then the, you can tell right away these are the nice cabinets too. You know, really, really nice cabinets. Good condition. Really nice condition actually. You have the stainless steel appliances. Refrigerator, stove. There is your dishwasher. You have a nice big sink. You have this window here. Brings in a lot of natural light. Recessed lighting in the kitchen. You can kind of see it up here. There we go. All recess lighting there light fixture they have a half wall here kind of separating the kitchen and the family room so this is the family room here really nice big as well so they added new flooring here in the family room I'm assuming they might have had carpet before so as you continue here oh, that's what it was so you have I think turtles in here <laughs> Anyways, here you have a, a restroom. It's, it's a half a restroom combined with the laundry room. So you have the hookups here for the laundry. So you can see you have a window there. New flooring as well. They, it's a little different than this flooring, so they kind of have that contrast. This is the garage. So they're already kind of packing up and everything. And good size garage, you know, you have the two door, but then you have the extra space there and there that makes it just a little bit bigger than, than most uh, two car garages that have that one door. It's all fully finished. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so pretty much it's all finished except for that wall over there. So you have drywall on that side and on this side and the ceiling. Here you have, looks like a little storage closet. So you have all that space there too for the storage. This is right under the, the stairway. So this one, yeah, this one has a pantry here. Cool. There's a pantry. Pretty big one. A lot of space in here. So this one doesn't have a basement. Right? Yeah, there's no interest for the basement. So let's go ahead and check out the upstairs. Again, carpet. This is a good quality carpet too. You can tell right away between the medium and the and the the high quality and the low quality. So as you walk up here, you have a restroom here, a new flooring in the restroom. You have the nice cabinets there. Double vanity. Looks like you have the linen closet inside the restroom, as you can see. You have a window here. You can actually see the cul-de-sac and the highway. Here's the toilet. And then you have a shower tub combo. And you come back out. So you can kind of see the railing here it goes into another room bedroom another bedroom here and there's another bedroom here three bedrooms plus the master so we'll walk into the master first so here's the master bedroom you have eight foot ceilings up here carpet all brand new carpet nice you have a lot of space here as you can see they can they have a huge it's a clean size bed but a huge like back part of it and then they have the TV here, huge window. You can see the, the highway there and everything. And so right here you have the restroom, new flooring in the restroom, double vanity, huge mirror, light fixtures there. And you have a tub here and a toilet, of course. You have a big tub here and the stand-up shower. Stand-up shower has nice tile and everything. Recess lighting in here as well. With the, with the, right now, this is just a window. 
and you get a lot of natural light in here. Over here you have the walk-in closet. Looks like it's a really big walk-in closet. So even back here you have behind the door you have some space. You have a little window in here. That's not very common in walk-in closets, but that's nice because you get some natural light in here. Kind of give you another perspective of the uh, of the bedroom here, the master bedroom. So as you walk out here, again, you have a stairway there, and then you have a full restroom here, and you have a bedroom right over here. So here's a bedroom, the corner part of the home. You get, you actually get a lot of light in here, you just have those, those dark curtains. Right here, you have a view of the backyard. You can actually see the mountains over there, <laughs> but right now you cannot because of all the smoke from the fires. But you can kind of see the deck and the backyard from here. Pretty nice. This is the the closet. It's a good sized closet, it really is. It's a really big closet, and like the space goes out over there. And these, this bedroom is actually a really good sized bedroom too. Again, everything on the upstairs. All new carpet. Here's the other bedroom. A really good sized bedroom as well. Big window to the view to uh, towards the mountains out there. Closet. And the carpet, really nice. Really nice looking house. This is a. So they have the water up here, water heater up here. There should be a crawl space for the furnace. But you have another bedroom right over here. Again, a good sized bedroom. All these bedrooms up here are actually pretty big. You have a big closet over there. And over here, you have a view of the, of the neighbors. And you probably get a view of the mountains over there. Is out here. So yeah, this is pretty much the home. Really nice. Everything is pretty much the flooring throughout the entire house is pretty much new. But let me know if you have any questions. I'm gonna go check out the backyard now. So we move on to the yard now. We have this really good this is a really nice size deck as you can see so right here they have a little retention wall all the way around that goes out over there to the to that gate so they don't really have grass here or anything they made a little patio area here With, the, with stone and everything. Steps going down there. Got a tree in the corner there. And you have, yeah, this deck is pretty nice. You can do a lot, of, you can do a lot in this deck. And they look, look they built a little patio area over there too. And they have another gate over there. Pretty nice. Here's this side of the home, how it looks. The side paneling and everything looks Looks like in really good condition. It's not fresh paint, but it's still, the paint's actually still in really good condition. You can see the neighbor's yard and that neighbor's yard too. <laughs> like you still have a six foot privacy fence. This fence here looks like it's brand new. And then the rest of the fence still looks like in really good shape. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna take some video of the, of the area. All right, so this is kind of the rest of the neighborhood here. Again, fairly new, fairly new. You go down over there, you hit Mark Shuffle. Which is where we're going. 
The nearest shopping center here will be off of Constitution. It's not too far from here at all. Um, if I make a right and mark shuffle and I go further, go south, uh, sorry, go north, um, I'll hit Constitution. In Constitution, you have uh, King Supers, which is a, a huge supermarket that also sells like other stuff, you know, like clothes and makeup and things like that. Um, so it's right over here. This is Mark Shuffle. At this site, you make a left, take it south. And you'll, it'll take you down to um, to Fort Carson. Probably in about 20 some minutes, depending on traffic. I'm making a right right now. Taking this right here. There we go, the focus. There's a, a main street over there called Constitution. At the corner there, you're gonna have Starbucks, you're gonna have a, um, a gas station, King Super, which is a huge, huge supermarket. Huge supermarket that pretty, pretty much sells everything. It's kind of like a, like a Walmart, but a little, but not as big and um, a little better quality as well. They have some new construction homes up here as well. We have a, so it's right here, you see this car wash? You kind of, you, if you turn here, you'll be hitting um, King Super, which is right there. So this is the shopping center. Again, that was, that was maybe, what, three minutes driving at the most. There's a Starbucks there, there's a bank. There's a few other shops on the other side over there. There's this, these houses here are all new construction homes that they're building. They're building this uh, this neighborhood here. But yeah, that's pretty much everything there. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about this one.